Welcome everybody, this is Russell with Community Financials, uh, the nation's leading HOA and condo accounting service for uh, community associations. Today we're gonna be talking to uh, Front Steps. We've got Keith and Jenna who are gonna show us a little bit about the Front Steps website that faces owners. Then later we'll do a separate video on the back end for controlling this part of the website for board members and also for managers and our team. And then also we'll get into security, uh, gate control and things like that in a separate video as well. So thanks very much, Jenna and Keith, for joining us today to talk about uh, the, the website. Perfect. Um, okay, so I'm actually just gonna quickly run through a homeowner's view. Um, so as a homeowner logs in, this is the dashboard that they would be uh, viewing. Um, the latest community news is going to go over all of the bulletins and community events that are happening. Um, and then on the right hand side here, um, this is where a homeowner would be able to make a payment. As you can see, it's a big green make payment button. So very easy to spot. Um, you would just click here and then in a few clicks, they'd be able to pay their assessments. Um, this is going to go over any classifieds within the community. So if any homeowner within the community is selling something like a speaker or whatever it may be, this is where it would show. And then any notifications. Um, so it doesn't look like this particular mean or uh, homeowner has a notification. So under quick actions, you're going to be able to view the community directory. Um, so you can see everybody that lives within the community, their phone number, the role that they play, um, and then their email address. This will pull a homeowner's payment. Um, so this is where you can view all of your financials. So any outstanding balances, every transaction date will uh, appear here. Um, it will show the description and then the amount that was paid. As you can see on this tab as well, you'll be able to uh, make a payment. Um, in addition to your dashboard. And Jenna, this is this is going to pull out of our company's accounting software and bring it right exactly. over here for the owners to be able to see that history. Exactly. Packages. Um, so this is going to go through if any homeowner has packages. Again, this is going to be community specific. Um, so as long as the community has this as a feature activated, um, it will populate here. Um, any if visitors they have like a front desk concierge, this is what they'd use. Exactly. Um, any visitors or passes as well. So same thing if there's like a front desk type thing um, and you guys like to manage the visitors that are coming in within the community. Um, as a homeowner, I can go ahead and add the visitor for a specific day or maybe I wanna allow them to use one of my parking permits. Um, so this is where you would edit that as a homeowner. Um, and then this would go directly to the um, administrator that manages this community. Um, this is also where a homeowner can submit their work order. Again, this is community specific. So unless you want the homeowner to be able to create work orders within the current accounting system or um, on this system. Um, so again, it can work both ways, but it will sync back up with their accounting system either way. And then this is where a homeowner can keep track of their vehicles. Um, again, um, if the community is managing, you know, something like this, um, then this is, you know, super helpful for the homeowner as well. Community communications. Um, so as a homeowner, um, I can go ahead and start a discussion within my community if I want to know a specific question or maybe, um, you know, I saw somebody that shouldn't be in the community, I can go ahead and start that community discussion here um, and all the homeowners can chime in. Bulletins, so these are gonna be viewable to the homeowner. Um, so as a manager creates a bulletin, uh, kids back in school, for example, maybe um, a manager wants to let the entire community know of a specific event going on. So this is just where you can view all of the um, events and bulletins within the community. And I saw in the dashboard, you, you get the bulletin, but then if you wanted to see just the bulletins, you go to this section. Exactly, yep, so now we're breaking it down. Um, classifieds, again, um, as you pointed out, uh, you can view this within the dashboard or you can come here and this is where you would actually create that classified um, for the community. Um, so this is just, um, you know, a comfort for homeowners if they would prefer to sell their goods um, within the community instead of selling it online to hundreds and thousands of people on, for example, like Craigslist or, you know, Facebook marketplace, things like that. Great. And one thing, Jenna, we're talking about 
And this is all customizable. So if the board doesn't think that some of these features are applicable to their community, they can ju we just toggle them on or off so that it doesn't show up for the owners to say. Exactly. Um, and all you guys would need to do is just send me an email saying we do not want this feature um, as part of this community. I would go ahead and disable that feature and it's as simple as that. Great. Okay. And just so you know, all of these are um, eligible to be disabled. Okay. Um, surveys. Um, so this as a homeowner, uh, you can go ahead and view all of your surveys that you have taken. Um, so as a, you know, uh, a community manager, or even um, a director within this community, you can create a survey um, for your homeowners, and then they would go here and they would be able to view all who voted on it, when that survey was created, and then the status of that survey. The e-forms, um, so these are customizable online forms. Um, and as I was saying to Russell, um, so you can actually, as a manager or a director, when you're creating these e-forms, um, they are public forms, so they're online forms. So you can actually send this to anybody. They don't have to have credentials to log into this specific platform, for example. Um, but again, they're just an online form and this is where it would show up for the homeowner. What's an example, Jenna? of an online form? Um, an example of an online form. Like an architectural, uh, architectural request or something? Yeah, anything that you want it to be. Um, what's nice is they are completely customizable to whatever you're trying to do. If it's like a community event, for example, and you want to know who prefers what foods, you know what to order food-wise, you can do that, right? Um, or if you want to know something about like the cleanliness uh, within a community, you can go ahead and create um, a multi uh, or multiple e-forms on that um, just to see, you know, how the cleanliness is uh, coming about within the community. Um, you can also do architectural requests on eFarms. You can do anything you want. The My Reservations and Requests. Um, so the architectural requests are gonna be pulled in from the accounting system. So this is just gonna be a read only. If you have multiple units, you can search for those units here and then click search. Again, violations, so these are gonna be the CCR violations. This is pulling in directly from the accounting system. This is just gonna be viewable, viewable for the homeowner. The calendar is going to show community events as well as the facilities that are eligible to reserve within the community. Um, as a homeowner, they can also print this um, calendar so they can have it on their desk. So now it's gonna break it down. Um, so these are going to show the uh, facilities that this specific homeowner has booked out. And it's going to show, so say for example, a homeowner goes in and they wanna reserve a bunch of different times and different facilities. So this is just uh, manageable for this specific homeowner. Um, they can view the status. Um, so for this one, it was approved, um, but if it did say rejected, they would actually um, get a memo from the property manager or director just saying why it was um, declined. Okay. or rejected. Um, and then community events. So again, as a homeowner, this is just going to be um, a viewable uh, feature for them so they can see all of the community events happening um, within the community. Again, um, as Russell pointed out, you can also view this um, on the dashboard. Okay. Um, and the security account. Um, so this is kind of the demo that we went through. Um, earlier today with Kevin. Um, so this isn't going to show us anything, but if it was linked to a security profile, so this is where the, they could- the Key fob and all that, guest, guest pass entry. Yep. Campus. Right, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then your documents. So this is going to be all the documents that are viewable for this specific homeowner. Um, keep in mind that our documents are based off of roles. So what I mean by that is you can password protect folders. So they're only accessible to specific people within the community, such as maybe it's a director's only folder, or maybe you have specific groups. Again, you can customize all of that. Okay documents on the website. So these are going to be your public facing documents that are created. Information is just going to show, um, you know, FAQs. Um, so if you're constantly calling in asking about a specific question, um, this is where you can refer the homeowners to. Okay. Places, I like to say is like a Google Maps feature. Um, again, this is, you know, just a, an extra feature added. Um, you don't have to have this. Again, this is uh, another feature that I can disable. Um, but it's kind of nice to, you know, have especially if a homeowner, you know, is, you know, not necessarily tech savvy, or maybe they don't use their phone often, then they can come here. 
And then public contacts, again, this is just where the homeowner can view all of the public contacts that are edited within the community. They can't actually edit anything on this page, just view. Okay. And okay. Jenna, this, this goes with, this is paired with like a, a, a WordPress website for the community? This is paired, yep, with a front-facing site. Um, the front-facing site's gonna be a lot more customizable. Um, and I like to say pretty, <laughs> just and because this, you but can- this is, this is the business end of where the owner goes once they log in off of the website. Exactly, yep. So this is if you have credentialed access to log into this type of platform, um, and then you would go ahead and log in from there. Mm -hmm. And one other thing, this is, is there an app that goes with this or? There is a mobile app. Yes, I love our mobile app, but I will definitely send it via email.